Hello, hello. What's up, y'all? Benjamin here. Wanted to just do a really quick video on a little bike ride today, motorcycle ride. Hope everybody's doing well. Enjoying the beautiful weather. Um, Want to do a quick video. As if some of you have seen these, you know I'm doing videos on people trying to recover from uh, broken relationships, divorce, in particular uh, divorce, especially if you have kids. Uh, again, I want to um, just talk about, particularly to the guys, um, again, in our country, 53% of first-time marriages end in divorce. It's closer to 70% for the, for the second marriage. But 53% uh, for the first marriage, 80% of those uh, divorces filed by the woman. Uh, not right or wrong or indifferent, it just is what it is, right? Again, some of those divorces are for good reason, some of them are not. Either way, um, but if you feel like you are the um the one who's kind of been sideswiped it doesn't matter man or the woman uh it seems like someone usually wants it they want out when the other person doesn't and when the other person is told hey i want out of this relationship i want out of this marriage um it usually comes as a blow and it's pretty hard to handle so i'm doing some of these videos to try to just help some of us cope uh who are going through this and hope to be a little bit of an encouragement um today i wanted to talk just really briefly about what's called third space third space okay um, when you're in a marriage, long-term relationship, uh, usually you have two things, right? We have, you have your first space is your family, or it should be your family. Um, second space is your work. Uh, and then, and then there's a third space, right? Um, most of who you are, most of what you do, most of what you're about is in the first space, family, right? You, you, you do the second space, the work typically, because you have to support the first space, right? Your family. So uh, family first space, second space is work, third space, uh, for a lot of couples this is, um, uh, it could be many different things, uh, church, uh, clubs of some kind, game nights with friends, uh, whatever, right, so on and so forth. Um, what is going on very often now, nowadays I'm finding, uh, and this isn't just me, I've talked to other people who have gone through divorce and it's like this, third space is the internet, third space is the internet, right? Uh, so this is where we have our communities online now. There's not a lot, whole lot of physical interaction, not a lot of uh, high-fiving someone in person, big hugs, uh, that camaraderie, right? It's a lot of third space is, is, is in the internet. And what I found, uh, you know, before at least before all this happened, I never really had it. I didn't have a third space for a really long time. Um, for me, it was first space is my house, second space uh, work, right? And a lot of times I put my second space in the place of my first space, right? I, my, my work uh, has always been something that I've either loved or hated, and it's always uh, taken up way too much space in my head rent-free, if you know what I mean. Um, and living up in the mountains for the last, I don't know, whatever it was, it was about four years, bought a house in the mountains, four years, um, you're kind of isolated, and you don't have a lot of... Uh, and I've always had odd job schedules, so I didn't have a normal work schedule like everybody else. So I was never able to hang out with people when other people were hanging out because I was always working. Um, so I guess what I'm trying to say is to encourage people to embrace, uh, if you're still married and you feel like it's on the rocks and you feel like it's going south, find a healthy third space. Find a healthy third space, right? Go to church together. Um, um, go out and hang out with friends together. Make time to to go out with other friends. Things like this. Go see a movie with friends. Go uh, go out to eat with friends. Um, create a healthy third space for you and your spouse uh, before it's too late, because that'll carry you so far. Is having healthy third space, uh, health, healthy friendships with other people, right? Um, but if you're in the divorce situation and everything's gone, I mean, you know, you're not at home anymore. You, you don't you don't ever see your kid or your kids um, uh, and you all you have is work and then you have your place you know if you're a lot of guys I've talked to uh, in the situation or have had to find their own place the spouse stayed at home and now you got your own apartment and uh, you've got a lot of extra time you didn't have before uh, and so finding a healthy third space so for me I've joined Krav Maga in Loveland uh, Krav Maga in Loveland Colorado go see coach Kevin if you're in the area uh, he's been a huge encouragement to me 
and uh, uh, the community I've made there at Krav Maga is great. Um, there's when you're frustrated, you get to go hit the punching bags, get it out of your system, uh, go lift the weights. Um, that's something I can't say enough. I was talking to a young man who's going through a lot of hard stuff right now. I told him, you've got to get into sports, uh, uh, something, not just like a gym where you're going to just lift weights and you can do it by yourself. You have to go to go do some sport that requires other people pushing you. CrossFit, Krav Maga, uh, karate of some kind, go to boxing, go to somewhere where you can't just put your headphones in and check out. Right now, if you have to do one or the other, of course, go lift some weights. But uh, I feel like if you're in part of a physical activity that involves other people that can push you, that's what you need. That's a healthy third space, right? So for me, it's my Krav Maga uh, uh, classes with, with my crew over there, um, uh, Coach Kevin. And then the other places, I have a coffee shop I go to. On my days off, I go in there a lot, and I um, have made quite a few friends there especially the old guys right the old guys that come to the coffee shop and they're always hanging out having a good time telling stories and talking and things uh, and I go in there and I sit down with the old guys and talk to them and the uh, community that they have got a lot of these guys have already been through divorce some of them have been to through two divorces you know they lost custody of their kids or something and they have stories to tell about how they got through things um, they're not all that way but a lot of them have they've been through divorces they've been through deaths one of my good friends there, an older guy, his wife uh, committed suicide. I mean, and it's just amazing to sit down and talk to these old guys. So that's what I want to encourage you guys with today. Find a healthy third space, a healthy third space, okay? Again, uh, church, go to a church somewhere, find a men's group. If you don't go to church, you don't like going to church, I hear you. Uh, get into a, a good men's group of some kind uh, and get into an exercise routine. Exercise, exercise, exercise with other people. Uh, Maybe if you've never picked up a bike ride and you go on these long bike rides through the mountains or through town or whatever, you all see those, those middle-aged to older guys that are on their bicycles with other friends and they're going for it and they're, you know, we're going to do 10 miles today, whatever it is. Um, get a part, in a part of a sport or an, uh, a workout that involves other people, right? Uh, I know there's a, uh, like a rec center close to where I live. And COVID's lifting, right? So now those people out, they're playing volleyball there. They have a volleyball leagues. They have softball leagues. Kickball. Hell, who doesn't love kickball? Remember that when you were a kid? Get involved in something like that where there's other people. Because you got to get out of your own head. That's one of that's one part of it. you got to get out of your own head and get around other people. Because it's extremely lonely going through divorce or being divorced when you don't have that first, first space anymore. All you have is your workspace and then what, right? So, uh... You don't want to be alone. You do not want to be alone with too much time in your own head. There's a little bit of time for that, and that's good, but uh, if there's too much time alone. So exercise with other people, and then get into a coffee shop routine or a church routine, a, a Bible study routine, a men's group routine, uh, or hell, a women's group routine if, you know, if you're a woman. Um, and get around other people. Don't spend too much time alone in your own head, all right? Just enough. Just enough because you got to face your own darkness, right? Uh, I'm not the best at that. I'm a very social person. And so I always want to be talking and, and getting involved, you know, what other people doing. And so for me, the challenge is sitting still and, and being quiet in my own head, in my own heart. Um, but find a healthy third space. If you're going through a divorce, it's going to crush you. There's no doubt about it. It's going to crush you. And I've talked to so many guys. Uh, one guy, you know, he started taking the pain meds, getting pain pills on the damn streets, you know. And it took him a while to overcome that. I know another guy who drinks, and he has a really hard time. Um, uh, and he's, he's kicking the habit, you know. Uh, uh, and so you're going to want to run to what hurts, you know, whatever makes you feel better, right? Whether it's uh, alcohol, gambling, who knows, spending money that you shouldn't be. Who knows? Um, healthy balance, healthy balance, right? Spend enough time in your head to start working through things to heal and to get better, right? in prayer and uh, and in just knowing what you've done uh, uh what you can do and to improve your situations uh and then third space guys healthy third space healthy third space all right let me know what you think blessings